Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today is the mystery box challenge. These are my favorite, favorite videos to do. We do them every other month. They are hosted by Courtney from Creative on the Cheap and there is eight of us, nine of us maybe? one or the other eight or nine of us youtube girls and we send each other a mystery box full of goodies this one is walmart items this month's challenges we just send a challenge item so it can be anything we want and then courtney always comes up with some twist and this twist was we had to send the person we were sending our box to we had to send them like an item we have already um created or one we were working on and we never finished so I'm gonna jump in to my box. Whitney from Whiskey and Wit sent me my box and I sent my box to Jay from Jay Money. I will leave a playlist in the description box below. Okay, this is packaged too nice. I never feel like I package my stuff nicely. Um, I should really know by now. Um, and then she sent me a card and look at this. She has her own little stickers. How stinking cute is that? That's cute. And she sent me a a pumpkin card. How stinking cute is this? So excited if you'd open this box. Also a tad scared. Please don't hate me. I had a blast shopping and get a kick out of the challenge item. Happy crafting. And she sent me one of her stickers she made um, recently in one of her videos. She made stickers. How stinking cute. These are so... I love that. Thank you. That is already exciting. So she's probably trying to like butter me up. Let's... I liked opening challenge items first. So let's do that. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> I think this is the worst challenge item I have ever received in my life. Wow, I, I have no idea what to do with these. Not a clue. <laughs> that is the best challenge item ever. Also, the other one is something that she's already made or used. Oh no, I think I'm ripping it apart. Oh no, I'm doing something bad. Oh, the little frame broke a little bit. Okay, so she did this little frame right here rise and grind and it looks like the frame is kind of falling apart right here okay this will be kind of easy to do something with this is super cute so uh let's see what uh i can remake with that so those are my two items i have to use next we're gonna jump in like i said it is a walmart video i love walmart so much i love shopping walmart i love buying everything at walmart it's just so fun all right, so it looks like she sent me some felt. One of these wood signs, which I love these wood signs. I use this, I use something similar to this in a recent video, but I love just blank canvases. They're always so fun to use. <laughs> she sent me boxwood greenery. I sent Jay some of this too. I feel like that we all use this. This is like the best, best stuff to use. She sent over some faux suede cord. That is pretty neat. I'm not sure what to do with that, but I really like that. That's really cute. She really like went all over the place. I, my Walmart doesn't have like this good of stuff. Um, this is burlap and I love the colors of this. This is really, really cool. I might have to copy something on here because I never know what to do with burlap. So, but that's super cute. And then some skewer sticks. We can always use those. And then she sent a placemat. I mean, she was seriously all over Walmart. I would have never even thought to like go in the section like this. This is so cute too. So she sent me this. All right, the last couple items. I seen these at mine. I almost grabbed these for J2, but I didn't. Magnetic puzzle pieces. These are super cool. Two smaller canvases. And then a little bowl like so. But uh, okay, that is it. That was what is in my box. Thank you, Whitney. And let's start the, let's start making stuff. Okay, so for this first one, I decided to use the placemat and the wood blank. And the first thing I did was obviously take the tag off. Normally, I do not take tags off of anything. And then I just actually laid this out to make sure it was going to fit to what I was going to do with it. And the first thing I did was kind of cut a little bit of the placemat down because it was just too much too much too much extra uh placemat <laughs> that we weren't gonna need uh, and then i'm just using my good old mod podge i realized i had to use a lot more than this if i wanted this placemat to stick uh, but i guess it really didn't matter in the end because i ended up using a good old staple gun uh, to staple this down i wanted this to be like the cover i just really wanted to cover up the blank wood piece and 
this took me a while to realize like this isn't going to work. I need to use like the whole gallon of Mod Podge for this. Uh, but you know, it's, it's nice when you have a staple gun because you just use this. This staple gun is by Surebonder and I love Surebonder products, but this one is actually really nice. And I just kind of folded this up like I was going to do upholstery. Although I've never done that before, but you know, I've watched some videos and kind of seen what people do and I totally felt like I was like making a cushion, which could have been pretty neat if you guys want to make a cushion or like a little bench or a little stool. This would have been really cool if you had had some like foam cushion underneath this, but I'm going to make this a sign. Uh, I really liked this. It kind of is like a modern type farmhouse, like just more of a modern piece. This chalkboard type thing. This came from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for four bucks. It's when they had that amazing clearance sale and you just buy things that you're like, I'm going to use that. Um, no, uh, I had this for a while, used my Waverly chalk paint to paint over this. And then I decided to use a chalk couture transfer. I love chalk couture. I know some people don't like it, but I love it. I think it makes things look really high end, especially since you're just using a transfer. You can wash this off. I'm just using the chalk paste in the orange, bright white, and eucalyptus. And I love the way this turned out. I really went fast mode in this because uh, it takes some time to get perfection on these. So anyways, that is all I did here. Uh, I just pull this off and this is always the most satisfying thing ever is when you pull your little chalk couture transfer off. Uh, if you guys do want to check it out, link in the description box below. Hot glue gun. This is the Surebonder Dual Temp Ultra Hot Glue Gun and I am just gluing this right to the center. That's all I did. That's it. I love this sign. I think this is super, super cute and yes, I love it. Next one, I'm using this leaf ornament. This was from Target last year, and I'm also using this burlap. So we're going to use some Mod Podge again. You know, if you guys have watched my latest videos, you realize that I've used Mod Podge a lot lately, which props to me for real. Like I have Mod Podge that I don't use. I'm surprised any of it even works. And then I just cut a piece of this burlap off and just put this right on top of the leaf, went back, used another ton of Mod Podge because... It takes me a while to realize how to even work this. Uh, I am going to be using my challenge item. I'm honestly just going to be using the beads. I don't know if that was cheating or not, but it really wasn't spe specified. Yeah, specified if I had to use the entire thing or just pieces of it. Uh, but I'm going to go with the beads. I'm going to go with the whole thing. And I'm just showing a little bit more of this because I want you guys to know that I truly used the challenge item faux suede in this black and I liked the little camel color. This is actually a really cool piece. I don't know what else to do with this besides make bracelets or strand a fun garland, but um, I loved these colors because they match the burlap really well and I'm just stringing the beads and making a fun little tassel with these two little faux suede colors or cords. Suede cords? Uh, yeah, and in here is my cute little garland. I really like this. I didn't even have to paint the leaf or anything. All of it just matched and looks good together. Next one, I'm using a Dollar Tree pumpkin sign, and I'm going to be bringing out that burlap once again. I love this burlap. There's so much of this. So if you guys can find some of this at your Walmart, pick it up because you could probably make 50 projects with it. Um, I barely used any at all for two of these projects. I'm just going to be cutting it out and making a piece for this pumpkin. You guys guessed it. We're going to use Mod Podge again. Uh, yeah, I got really good at this. I actually only had to just put a ton on the first time and then I didn't have to go back around the second time and redo it, which was fantastic. And then I just laid the burlap over the top, smoothed it out so nicely, smoothed it, patted it, held it down to make sure that it wasn't going, uh, nothing was going to happen. Um, and then I just put something over the top to kind of hold it down. And then I'll just use this wood piece from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it black with this Waverly chalk paint and ink. Voila, 
there you go. It is black. And then I'm just going to take that, glue it to the center of the pumpkin. Now I'm just going to be adding these galvanized thankful words. These were also from Dollar Tree this year. I'm sure you've seen them. If not this year, you've probably seen them last year, the year before, the year before. They have them every year, but I never know what to do with them. So I was pretty excited I was able to use them. Uh, now I'm just adding some eucalyptus leaves to the top of this. I wanted something just a little more different than what I normally do. And I was trying to just, you know, figure out what to do with this burlap, move these eucalyptus leaves all around. And then I'm just adding this rose to the center. This was also all from Walmart eucalyptus, this little rose, all from Walmart and Dollar Tree. And there you go. Here it is. My brand new Dollar Tree slash Walmart sign. This last one, I'm be using my challenge item. I'm gonna be using this little wooden palette pumpkin, Arteza paint. This is in terracotta and I just really like this. I think it kind of goes out, goes out, it goes out, goes on really smooth and you only have to do one coat because it's so thick. But I love this orange color. I know this probably isn't like an orange color pumpkin, uh, but I like it. These, I'm using these finally. I actually tore them apart, ripped them right in half there we go. I only used part of this. Is that cheating? Like I said, I don't know. I might be 100% cheating with this video, uh, but I only wanted part of it. And I'm just going to be taking some twine and wrapping it around this little, oh my gosh, what are these called? Pliers? Nope. Pinchers? No. What are these? Tongs. Wow. <laughs> They're tongs. Wrapping twine all the way around them because I'm going to be making a topiary if you didn't already guess it. Yeah, I kind of made this really simple on myself. This took me forever. I really kind of wanted to use the hands on this, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you would have used or what you would have made with this challenge item. I'm dying to know because the hands really caught me off guard until I realized I could pull them off. Also, my hot glue did not stick and adhere to this silicone very well, so I had to add a ton of hot glue to this just to make sure it would stay and not fall apart. But I was also really excited to make a topiary because I had quite a bit of fall stuff left over that I bought that I'm like, man, I don't know what to use or I don't know if I really want to use this or I don't know what to do with it. So I've already painted this little pumpkin ornament white and then I had more of these wooden words from Dollar Tree. This one says, hello, autumn, and I'm just adding it right to the center. And then I'm going to be taking some of that good old boxwood and pulling some of it apart and just making this a little bit more cuter. I know it kind of, you know, looked plain, which I love plain. Do not get me wrong, but I love a good old boxwood floral type thing on any single pumpkin. I don't think I've done that very often this uh, fall. Now I'm just using a burlap rose flower. Uh, that is from Burlap Fabric and I have a ton of these and I really just wanted to use one of these again because it's been a while since I have done anything with them. Then I'm just using Waverly Chalk Paint and Hazelnut and kind of just dry brushing. I don't even know if it's really dry brushing, kind of just throwing it on because I thought this pumpkin was just too clean and pumpkins are not clean. To finish this off, I'm using this farm fresh bucket, some Spanish moss, and a foam piece from Dollar Tree. And I'm just throwing this all in here, making sure it was sturdy. There are some plastic bags under there. I always use plastic bags just to hold everything a little bit more. And then adding this moss, and that is it for this. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out the playlist in the description box below so you can see what everybody else received in their mystery boxes and their super fun challenge items. But you guys, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.